Welcome back to RG Geek. Today we're going to be looking at five games you can play on the Odin from the bundle for your crane. As a gamer, you might think, um, I don't know how I could help, but uh, here is the minimum you could do. So a minimum $10 donation, you'll get access to around a thousand works, of which five games you can play on your Odin. So I want to demonstrate that now. Obviously, if you um, can afford it, I would also recommend giving more than the $10 donation to help the cause. All right, and see those charities are the International Medical Corps and the Voices of Children. So you'll be helping children's lives because they obviously had nothing to do with this war that they're having to face now. I can't even imagine what it's like being a kid um, in a country that's facing war like this. But anyway, no. Well, um, we all do what we can, and if you can donate to this cause, you can get some games to play in your Odin too. You go down here, see platform, you can see there's 531 Windows games, 291 Mac games, 233 Linux games, and we're interested in these 30 Android games here, and there's also 20 you can play in the browser. The trouble is when you see the Android games, you don't know what games will run, what games have gamepad support, what games are going to be landscape. So I tried to go through and play several of them to get a feel for which ones work. And I got a tip also on Discord that there's a randombundlegame.com. You can do a filtered search. So I come down here and say bundle for Ukraine. And then I filter further by platform Android and input gamepad any, which gives me a result of nine items. But this gamepad um, result isn't actually very good because a lot of times they'll list they have gamepad support, but they have gamepad support for say the Windows version, not the Android version. So, so I had, went through and actually tried out a bunch of these. Um, so for example, the first two games had no gamepad support on Android, and I was like, okay, well, that's unfortunate. Obviously, all these games can be played on the Odin, but if you're just playing with the touch screen, it's like, well, why aren't you just playing this on the phone anyway? So, let's get into the games that work. So, my favorite game is... Super Hexagon. Well, she says it better than I do. <laughs> all right, so you could tap to start, or you could push B or... A to start, so B, my menu, and these actually do correspond to the letters over here. Press A to start, and this is a really frenetic game. Best time is 26 seconds. You can see how tough this game is. Oh, I like that they have, the stages are hard, harder, and hardest. <laughs> yeah, this one lasted 4.2 seconds, so just give you a quick show. If you, if you tend to go dizzy, then maybe not look too intently. It's a pretty crazy game. Just go left and right, that's all there is to it. And... Uh... Oh, it's hard. <laughs> if you last 30 seconds, you can open up the next stage, which I haven't succeeded to do yet, but that's a neat little, like, I guess you'd call it a time waster on your Odin. A quick, uh, quick game, quick game sessions. All right, let's take a look at some other games. Omega Knot's a game that reminds me a bit of Star Fox. And you see here, you can't use a D-pad, but you can use this to go through the menu. So that's nice. Go here. I haven't been able to remove those uh, game, the touch controllers, but just shoot. Pretty simple game. And they have other levels where you're like in cities. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> anyway, I think you get the idea of what this is like. It's a space shooter that I'm not very good at. <laughs> you can shoot the asteroids too, I think. Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't have auto fire. Auto fire would be nice on this. There we go. Oh, 
So now I can go to the canyon or I can go to the mothership. Let's go to the mothership. I haven't played this level before. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's the wall. Nice. <laughs> but anyway, it's a neat little game. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's look at another one. Demonizer is a fun game too, but unfortunately it loads in portrait mode, but there's a solution to this. You can go into here and say force landscape. I warned you that there could be some issues because it's not made for this, but fortunately for Demonizer, this works fine. So, we'll push a key, and unfortunately you do actually have to tap here. It doesn't have gamepad controls on the screen. And let's go to campaign. I don't say normal. Let's go to the tutorial real quick. Actually, let's skip this tutorial and just go straight to the game. And so I can concentrate a shot with by holding A. And then B lets me shoot a bomb. It's a really crazy shmup here. This is a lot of fun actually. Ah, I get crushed though. <laughs> it's hard. And then you get power-ups as well, and stuff like that. And there's boss battles and everything like that. I mean, it's really fun. This might be my... This might actually be my favorite game of the whole bunch. So I'll actually end up playing this sometimes. I think this for a longer session, Super Hexagon would be my recommendation for a shorter session game. I got one more game to look at. No, two more games to look at, actually. It's just the third. All right, let's go check it out. This is Kaiju Big Battle Phyto Fantasy. And I'm sad the D-pad doesn't work, but at least this works here. So I can say new game. And you can choose the level of difficulty. I'm, I'm weak at these kind of games, so I'll pick the... Wrestler mode. Though it gives you controls, but you can really can use your gamepad, so you can just skip this part. It's an old timey TV there. <laughs> That's a neat little art and story, so I'll skip through the story quickly just to get to the game, to show it to you. Nice music, too. Right. <laughs> it's full of character personality. But it's basically one of those um, turn-based uh, RPG games. You can choose attack, pugilism, or item. The so item, you'll see you have none. <laughs> pugilism, you can choose, I can pick USA! On myself, yes. <laughs> and then Dr. Cube attacks. I can attack him back. Yes. <laughs> anyway. That's the kind of game this is, and then events happen. I don't want to spoil too much of it, uh, but it's a it's a neat little game. Don't know if I'll play much of it. It's not really my kind of game, but I know there's definitely a lot of people who like this kind of game. So enjoy. So that brings us to one last game. Let's look at Raleigh Polo, and the funny thing is, this was actually made for the Winter 2020 Ouya Game Jam. So it was made for this console, if you remember this. 
back a little while ago, about 10 years ago, I'd say, my controller. This is what it was made, meant to be played on. So it's perfect for playing on a gamepad. Funny thing is, it's a multiplayer game. So you really want to play with uh, some friends. This would be a good game if you get the dock. You can. Uh... <laughs> Don't really know what I'm doing here, but um, it's a crazy fun. You gotta shoot the ball through the hole to score, and then other people can connect their own controllers to play as well. So, let's see, I get this thing. You get a computer opponent, which is cool. Look at computer opponent, so good though. Ah, no! <laughs> and you have to shoot it through the hope. Uh, go through this little hole too. Woo. Here we go. No! <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. But if you want a little Android party game to play with some friends, then this could be a good option. Oh, I keep throwing it when I don't want to. Oh, no! I want to get at least one point. <laughs> Goodness. It's so hard. <laughs> I'd rather play against humans though. This AI is way too strong. <laughs> yes. There we go. Yes, point! <laughs> okay, anyway, you get the feel of it. You can play this four players, like I said, with um, a bunch of friends. Because it's pretty hard to actually find uh, multiplayer split screen, or not even split screen, but same screen um, Android games. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'd say don't subscribe to my channel, but go and donate to this cause and grab these games for yourself and enjoy them on your Odin. All right. I would still ask for the like on the video though, if you don't mind. And one more thing, if you wanna know more about this bundle for computer games, check out Tech Dreams video. He nicely summarizes some of the best games in the bundle. I personally don't play that much on my computer. I have a Mac, but I um, also don't really play PC gaming, so I'm not really up on these games. So I highly recommend his video, and he also has cool stuff about uh, retro handhelds, so if you're watching my channel, I assume that interests you as well. So I highly recommend watching this video if you want to find out more about the games for PC, Mac, and Linux.